Well, welcome once again. This is the second in our four-part series podcast on the spirit and the power of Elijah. Uh, In the last one, we spoke about the importance of the spirit and the power of Elijah. And in this one, we're going to talk about the spirit of Elijah, that aspect of the spirit and the power of Elijah, which will focus on the spirit of Elijah and what that means. But uh, I uh, mentioned that at the end of the last podcast that I was going to share a personal testimony, so I'll start with that, about how I received the the spirit and the power of Elijah, the impartation of that. Uh, it really helped me to understand that this is this impartation is real uh, and that it is, it is important. Uh, so let me start out with that. Um, I, I've mentioned a number of times that one of our, our my primary spiritual father, an old man, used to come to our church every year or so from Australia, and um, he would be talking about forerunners and spirit and power of Elijah, among other things. And I think it was about the year 2000, uh, he came and he sensed the Lord uh, saying to him that he needed to pray to release an impartation of the spirit and the power of Elijah over my life. And so he was sharing that with me. He was going to be ministering that Sunday at church, our church, and he shared with me uh, that he was going to do that, and I was excited about it. It's, you know, it sounded pretty exciting, the spirit and power of Elijah, and um, it sounded like something that I'd really enjoy having over my life. I mean, who wouldn't, you know, that is kind of the thought if you uh, haven't walked in that. And so um, so he prayed that um, that Sunday morning, and laid hands on me and prayed for the impartation of that. And uh, I, I wish I could say that after that, that everything was great, and I went on and wa- walked in that from that mo- moment on, but that was not the case. Uh, he was staying, he and his wife were staying at our house, and so we got back after the service, and we were fixing some lunch to eat, and um, even on the way home from the church, I began to feel like, okay, this is all wrong, he's a false prophet, uh, there's, this is not right, or this is error, uh, what have I done? Uh, and so by the time we got to our house, I had completely separated from Noel and from anybody. I began to I fix my own lunch and began to eat it by myself. And it was a very awkward and tense moment at our house that, that afternoon because of really my attitude. And uh, it, it would have... It probably who knows what have happened, but the Lord that morning had spoken to Noel and talked about shared with him the passage from First uh, Kings uh, where uh, Jezebel had attacked and chased Elijah, and so he shared that with me. And then I realized that's exactly what had happened to me. Not that the impartation was wrong; it was absolutely right. But what had happened was that the spirit of Jezebel had come and tried to uh, uh, oppress me in that to keep me from receiving that impartation but it didn't want me to receive that anointing and that impartation. So I repented of that and we and uh, began to operate uh, in that anointing. It's grown over the years, but I began to operate in that. But the point for sharing that here is it convinced me that this anointing of the Spirit and the power of Elijah is very important, uh, it's real, and uh, it's really crucial uh, to those called as messengers, master builders, and forerunners. So now let's move now to talk about the spirit of Elijah. Uh, The spirit of Elijah is the anointing upon us, and if we operate in the spirit and the power of Elijah, the spirit of Elijah is that anointing that gives us a heart uh, to operate in this call. It gives you the desire. It gives you the hunger and the thirst to be a messenger, to be a master builder, to be a forerunner. Um, you, you know, there, there are a lot of different calls in the church. I mean, not everybody is called as a messenger, master builder, or a forerunner. Uh, it's a specific function in the body of Christ. Others are called to be evangelists. Others are called to be uh, teachers, and, and not that we can't be those things and still operate in this anointing, 
But you know as well as I do that there are a lot of leaders and a lot of members in the body of Christ who have uh, a heart for God, but they don't have this burden, this fire in them to make ready a people prepared for the Lord and the second coming of Christ. And so the spirit of Elijah, one aspect of that is to uh, give you a heart uh, for uh, making a people ready. Um, there's a scripture verse, a couple of verses we'll, we'll use um, related to Elijah. Um, in 1 Kings 18, 21 and 22, this is what Elijah said. Elijah was preparing to confront the prophets of Baal. And here's what it, this passage says. He came near to all the people and he said, How long will you hesitate between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, follow him. But the people did not answer him a word. Then Elijah said to the people, I alone am left as a prophet of the Lord, but Baal's prophets are 450 men. So what you hear, what, what do you hear? You hear in this, this heart of Elijah to see people turn back to the truth, turn back to the Lord, away from all the error and all the, the other things. Uh, he was not content uh, with allowing the church, or in the, prophetically speaking, the church to uh, live in uh, just error and compromise and all that. He, w he wanted to see them come back to that. And so that's a major part of the spirit of Elijah is to give uh, you who receive this anointing a heart, a real heart for that. And, and to go along with that, a second aspect of the spirit of Elijah is uh, just to give you a burden, uh, a burden in your heart uh, to, to see this where you just can't be content uh, to not be a voice uh, crying in the wilderness. Um, there's a passage from uh, John chapter 1, verse 22 and 23 about John the Baptist. And it says, They said to him, who are, you, who are you so that we may give an answer to those who sent us? What do you say about yourself? And, and John said, I am a voice of one crying in the wilderness, make straight the way of the Lord, as the Isaiah, as the, the, Isaiah the prophet said. And so he was saying, you know, even though he's a voice from the wilderness, even though he's a lonely voice, that burden that the Lord had put in his heart uh, drove him uh, to speak and to, to call people to repentance, to be prepared for the Messiah, which was soon coming, who was soon coming on the scene. And so that's, just to summarize, that is the, that is the spirit of Elijah. It is a it is the anointing on the, of the spirit and power of Elijah that will change your desires. It will change your heart. It will change you. It will give you desire to do that and desire burden to see people uh, uh, made ready for the Lord. Just I just close with this uh, personal testimony about this. Before I was received this impartation of the spirit and the power of Elijah. My goal was to build a good, solid, community-type church. Uh, I wanted it to grow. I wanted to reach people. I wanted it to, to do all the things that a good church uh, would do. Um, and when I received this impartation, it changed my desire. Uh, I mean, I still want that. I still want our church to be a good, solid New Testament church. But it's expanded my call, my burden, to the point that I want to help other people. Uh, I want to help the church be ready for the coming of the Lord. And I want to help other leaders uh, to be ready, to make others ready. So it's expanded. It's In one sense, expanded. In one sense, it's refined that call. But just in essence, or in summary, the spirit of Elijah... Uh, and we, when we're talking about the anointing of the spirit and the power of Elijah, the spirit of Elijah, that part of it, is to give forerunners, messengers, and master builders a desire and a burden to see a people made ready to stand strong in the end times and to be ready for the second coming 
of Christ. So next in the next podcast, we'll talk, we'll pick up there and we'll talk about the power of Elijah. God bless you.